There are a few things that will keep you warmer in winter than a coat made with goose down. To make them, this factory only uses the smallest and fluffiest inner feathers. These natural insulators are super soft and are known as down. The down is whirled around in a sifter. Dust and any broken feathers fall to the floor and only the healthiest feathers get sucked up the pipe on their way to a spin wash. A very mild detergent is used at 40 degrees to get all the dirt out. Nearly 20 kilos of dirt and grease has come out of the feathers and now it's onto the dryer so the feathers won't rot. The feathers are blown around these containers at 100 degrees Celsius. After 20 minutes, they're dry and ready to be used. But first, they've got to be sorted by size. There's an airstream in the machine which blows the feathers around. The stream's only strong enough to lift the lighter down, so the larger feathers fall to the ground. The same thing happens in the next box, this time to catch the medium feathers. The medium-sized feathers go off to be stuffed into pillows, and the larger ones are destined to be used as fertilizer. After 15 minutes, the feathers are sorted. The smallest, most valuable down has collected at the top. It's put into a sack and taken off to make the jackets. A seamstress makes the pouches that will contain the down stuffing. Each pouch is filled with a precise and predetermined amount of down to make sure there's an even look to the jacket and enough insulation. For this pouch, that's 8 grams. 18 of these bags go into every one of the down jackets. A single, large piece of fabric is marked out to make up the outside of the coat before being carefully cut. It's a special porous material that lets the jacket breathe while still being waterproof. With over a hundred different parts needed to make up the outside of the coat, it takes 40 minutes just to cut them all out. Another seamstress stencils a design onto the fabric. This will be stitched around to make the coat quilted. They use a nylon thread to attach the pouches to the coat. And then they sew in cross seams along the design that was sketched out earlier. These stop feathers from collecting in one part of the pouch and keep the jacket looking puffy all over. All the pieces are ready and it's time for them to get sewn together. It's here that the lining, pockets and zips are attached to the jacket. An hour and a half of careful sewing later and the jacket's complete. Because of all the time involved in making one, this factory only produces 200 a day. But they still manage to get through 30 million feathers. <laughs>